Have you ever looked up at the sky, noticed dark clouds, and predicted that rain was on the way, yet it never came? Now, what if there was a way to make those clouds release rain? This is where cloud seeding comes in. Cloud seeding is a scientific method of weather modification designed to enhance rainfall and snowfall while also reducing hail damage. Essentially, it focuses on inducing short-term changes in precipitation. The process involves introducing tiny particles into specific types of clouds, which can ultimately lead to rain or snow. To understand how cloud seeding works, we first need to grasp how rain occurs. Here's a simplified breakdown of the process. Water from lakes, rivers, and oceans evaporates due to the sun, turning into water vapor. This vapor rises into the sky and cools down after reaching a certain altitude, forming tiny water droplets. Although these droplets are not individually visible, when millions of them collect, they take the form of clouds. As more and more droplets combine, they become large and heavy enough to fall, which is when we say, it's raining. Now, how does cloud seeding fit into this process? In certain clouds, the conditions may be such that the water droplets are too small to fall as precipitation. In other words, the process of droplet formation and accumulation isn't functioning effectively enough to produce rain. To change the conditions within these clouds, cloud seeding is employed, which consists of aircraft or ground-based generators releasing specific particles into the clouds. The most commonly used materials are silver iodide and hydroscopic substances like table salt as these can attract moisture. These particles act as nuclei, providing something for the water droplets to hold on to, allowing more droplets to gather around them. This creates a snowball effect, causing the droplets to grow larger and larger. When they become heavy enough, they fall as rain or snow. There are several types of cloud seeding techniques. Static cloud seeding increases the efficiency of precipitation formation by introducing a chemical agent into supercooled clouds. Dynamic seeding aims to enhance vertical air currents, allowing more water droplets to rise and freeze. There's also hygroscopic seeding, which introduces salt particles that encourage water droplets to merge. The clouds deemed suitable for these methods include warm season clouds associated with convective systems, such as thunderstorms, as well as cold season clouds often found in mountainous regions. The idea of cloud seeding was first introduced in the 1940s, when laboratory experiments showed that water in clouds could be artificially induced using a seeding agent, such as silver iodide. Several countries around the globe, including the United States, India, China, and the United Arab Emirates, have conducted research on cloud seeding. As of 2024, multiple states in the U.S., including California, Colorado, Idaho, New Mexico, and Texas, have active cloud seeding programs. Cloud seeding offers some advantages, such as increasing water supply for agriculture, minimizing the impacts of drought, reducing fog, lowering air pollution, and even decreasing the size of hailstones in areas prone to severe weather. <laughs> However, like any technology that deals with natural forces, it also faces challenges and controversies. The effectiveness of cloud seeding can vary significantly depending on the atmospheric conditions of a region, meaning that it doesn't always lead to the desired results. Critics therefore question whether cloud seeding is truly effective or if the rain is simply a natural occurrence that would have happened anyway. Additionally, there are concerns about the potential negative impacts of cloud seeding on weather patterns and the possible disruption of local ecosystems. While it remains uncertain whether cloud seeding will gain universal acceptance as a method for artificially altering the weather, it does demonstrate how a harmonious combination of natural phenomena and scientific techniques can produce results that seem marvelously close to magic.